Yeah, good evening, class, and uh, welcome to tonight's session. This night, we are going to look into project management tools. When we mean tools, we mean softwares we can use uh, in project management. And here we have Microsoft Project Planner. This is a paid um, tool. It's owned by Microsoft. We have a project labor. This is a free and open source. Is is just like uh, a Microsoft Project Plan Planner. Is uh, free, totally free. Is for planning as well. We have Microsoft Office. And this is a paid um, software is for collaboration. We have Basecamp. We have both free and paid version. This is for collaboration as well. We have Jira. Jira, we have free plan, we have paid version is for, for, for managing, planning, and uh, tracking is equally good in collaboration. We have Trello, we have free version, we have paid version is for our project tracking. And these are the tools we are going to discuss tonight. But there are so many other tools. There's millions of them. We just selected this one. If you can master all these ones we've uh, mentioned, you should be able to get started. But there are so many others in the market, like monday.com. We have uh, Zoho, we have Asana, and so many of them. We have ClickUp, or so many of them. We cannot discuss, we can't reach all of them. We we'll just uh, pick the most uh, popular ones in the market that can get you started. We we'll pick both um, paid and free. So free version will help you to get started without paying anything and play around the way you want it. So that's why I pick some of this free version. Now we're starting with uh, Microsoft Project. Microsoft Project is a project management software by Microsoft designed to assist project man a project manager in developing a schedule, assigning resources to tasks, tracking progress, managing the budget, and analyzing workload. This picture is a layout of a Microsoft project. It help you to schedule your project. Uh, assign resources to your project manage your costing and it comes with um, Gantt charts. You've got a lot of functionalities that can help you manage your project very well. Most organizations do use it, but there are so many others 
these days people are using like um, project labor which is free a lot of uh, startups are using project labor a lot of people are using it but big big companies tend to be using this uh, particular microsoft project plan is a very simple software it's not difficult to use well, we're going to learn in detail how to use these through project labor because they are exactly the same here we have project labor project labor is a free and open source project management software intended as a standard as a stand alone replacement for Microsoft projects. Project Labor has been downloaded 5.5 million times in 200 countries around the world just to show you how popular and powerful it is. So this is um, how Project Labor looks like. And you can see everything in Microsoft project is here in project labor. This is it. Everything. So if you learn how to use this open source very well, then you are good to go. I've been using it to manage my projects and uh, I love it. So we are going to do a bit of uh, practical about this particular project labor, but I'll come back to it. Let's uh, keep discussing the software. After that, we'll come back to project labor. Then we have uh, this tool for collaboration, and this is uh, Office 365. This particular software by Microsoft combines the latest business applications such as Office 365, Outlook, Excel, PowerPoint, and more, and more with Windows 10 and best in class security. So this is very very powerful tools big big companies this is what they use is uh, it, it, it got almost everything you can think of so every application once you have it you can do anything you can have your meeting here you can do your calendar book your manage your meeting chat with colleagues everything and do your email you have a word all of every other application is integrated in this uh, microsoft 365 so but it's not free so that is one problem with um, microsoft they tend to be so stingy. Every of the application, everything is money to them. So, so, but um, 
is very easy to use and uh, I don't see how we can play around it because it's not free. So, but it's good to know about it. It's not difficult to use. So, well, some of the application we know here is uh, Outlook. Some of you must have been using Outlook. We we'll have um, uh, Microsoft Word. Everybody uses Microsoft Word. We we'll have uh, Excel. We we'll have PowerPoint. And this uh, Microsoft Team. So, these are most of the application we we'll use. And this will have uh, Skype as well. They own Skype. It's part of their application. So it's just that it comes together, but it's common. All these things, we, the main purpose is to collaborate, have their meeting, do everything as a, as a project team. So that is it. Then we come to base camp. Basecamp is another very popular, very popular application in the market. It's very, very popular. Basecamp is an online collaboration app that let people manage their work together and communicate with one another. You use it to keep track of all the tasks, details, file, discussion, and announcement that happen around the work. It's very simple and it's very, very good. And I like it. I'll be using it a lot. So, so let's um, just dive in and look at how this camp walls and then continue. So this is how this camp looks like. And here we will we'll have three projects we are running here. It's how base camp. Let's look at one of these projects. So if you are a member of a project team in base camp, this is how it's going to look like. So this is a, an ongoing project. Call it Cartwright Payment System. So you can use Basecamp to track your project activity. So from the day you start the project, you can see what everybody is doing. Like this is today. From today, this is what's been going on here. Let's base camp. We see people submitting their deliverables. So we can take you, you see what everybody, you can track what everybody is doing in base camp. But let's see in base camp, we have a um, project um, message board. This is just like a notice board. From here, you see all the announcements. You can make announcements here within the message board. So here you see all the announcements that are going on here within this. Uh, so let's see. It's an announcement. Everybody hears this announcement, and anybody within this project can see this announcement, and there you can equally comment on announcement, you can ask question about the announcement. So 
then we have to do. To do is where we schedule our activities. Everything we do in the project is on that to do. And here you can see what people have been doing, working on. And that is um, so. See what and that is. So to help you to to break your project, this shadow to do help you to break your project into breakdown structure and manage your project. And you can see here, this project is broken down into four stages. And it's, it's running. This is what they've done. This is what we are working on. So in an activity like this, from here, you can sign a tax to the project team members as a project manager. Like this particular activity is I've assigned it to all this group of people. And once they finish what they are doing, I'll be notified. And this is the due date. And I can add more notes and I can comment. And any member here can comment. You can ask questions. If you are not clarified about what is going on here, you can make a comment and everybody here will see it. And that's how we collaborate within this particular activity. So that is how that is uh, to do work. So then we have uh, docs and file. Docs and file is just um, where we is the, the, the project repository. As long as this project is consigned, this is our storage facility. This is where we store all our files, all our documents, all our folders. This is where, just like in a, in a traditional office where you store food, various folders, it's just like this, you store various folders here. Anything related to initiate stage, this is where we have them. All our recorded meeting we have, this is where it is. So if you if you miss a meeting, you can come here and watch the meeting or the meeting will be having. So, and this is the project templates. All the project templates, if you are given a, a, an assignment or a task to do, you come here and look for material you are going to use to do your work. So, and that is, when you finish your work, it's going to be uploaded here. You know, like here, this is deliverable. People have been submitting. So that is docs and file. So then here we have campfire. Campfire here is just like, um, a WhatsApp group where people collaborate, chat, do everything. So whatever you type here, everybody can see it. If you want to, to talk to a particular person here, you can uh, mention the person's name. So it's just like WhatsApp group or Facebook group. There is a forum within here. Yeah. So we have schedule. Schedule where you can schedule meeting, you can schedule appointments, you can manage your calendar and the rest of them here. That's what we call schedule. 
And here is automatic check-in. Anything you do here, um, anything you do uh, uh, within this place triggers off from here. You can create, so many people use it to do their daily meeting or daily stand-up where you, you can um, actually ask questions, uh, do a review, anything. So you can, for me, ask a um, question like, and people will respond to the question you ask. So here you can use it to do our daily stand-up, like what do you do today? What um, did you do? What are you doing today? Or or what is your challenge? So this is where we can do all those things here. So help people to, to know what we are doing, what we are up to at every time. Some people make it a it, it duty that um, uh, if you're a project team, you must come here every day to tell the team what you are doing. Once you sign in, you tell people what you did yesterday. Call it uh, automatic check-in. So once you check in, see what you are up to. What you've done is the what you are um, your challenges. So that is it. And as a project manager, you can once you come, you can just look here, see what everybody is doing every day. You know who is uh, actually participating and who is not participating. And you use it to track some people just be uh, wasting time or sleeping around in the camp within the base camp, not doing anything. You know what everybody is doing. And here is a ping. From this ping, you can, uh, it's a private uh, email where you can actually message to anybody within this team and nobody knows what, what both of you are talking. And this here is a notification. On that here, you see what um, uh, a push notification. I will say if somebody mentioned your name, you get a hey, meaning that you have a notification to find out what's um, the best, uh, why they are mentioning your name. And you can find, you can use here to search anything. Any search by keyword, any keyword you type in, you are searching for document, easiest way to look for doc. Maybe you'll be trying to ransack document here and you can't find it. You can come here and just search and you get the, the, the document and you get the document. So this is um, how base camp is very, very simple, but it's very powerful. It's very powerful. A lot of companies are using it to manage their project. Some even use it as a cloud office, not just project management. Because see, this is just the project management aspect of it. If you've got so many other capacity you want to use it for. So it's a very powerful application. So then we move to Jira. Jira is designed to help team of all kind manage work. Originally, Jira was designed as a bug and issue tracker. Is an agile scrum work management solution that powers uh, collaboration. Mainly, this Jira is being used to, to, to manage agile project management or agile activity. So, 
It's very powerful. It will help you to uh, create your, your project um, or product back, uh, roadmap, you create a backlog, and uh, you create a sprint here, you manage everything. And uh, here you collaborate with your developers to deploy mainly during the uh, project uh, implementation or execution. So that's what uh, Jira is. So let's see if we can go to Jira and just have a quick look in real time. <clears throat> I'm logging in here, so let me log out. So if you are here in Jira, it's a free account, you can tell it to to start a free trial, you can start a, a free 30 days trial, but they have um, free forever this thing. Once if this free trial means they want you to sign into their um, premium pool. So the, once you finish, you will be expected to upgrade, but if you don't upgrade, it will leave you in their free, uh, plan. So this is uh, their plan and pricing. So here they have free Jira plan, which you can use. See, it's here, always free for 10 users. So you can use this one free. So don't mind them, they're asking you 30 days. 30 days is means if you want a premium, a standard, this one or premium or so, but they always have always free. You can use with your members. So, but if you have account, you just log in. So because I have account, I'll use my um google accounts to log in and there is already prompting me to use my google account because that's what i use to log in so and once i log in I've got so many projects here. So, this all is my projects here.
trying to log into any of my existing projects here. So these are the existing projects here. So here in Jira, you have um, under planning for you to plan. You can start by creating your roadmap. Roadmap here is breakdown structure. These are breakdown structure. So you you create your projects. When I talk breakdown, so it means uh, categories, and then you start breaking it down into smaller subcategories. And after then, you start planning your backlog. From here, this is your backlog. When you refine your backlog, do add story points to your backlog, then you create a sprint and then manage your sprint. And then once the sprint is on, you can go to your Kanban board where you start uh, managing your sprint and the developers will be picking what they want to do from here. This is um, work that have not started. So developers, if they want to work, they can pick from here and start working on it. Once they finish working on this one, they will put you to testing and this, the testers or the BAs will test it. And once after testing and the, the, the user story uh, meets the acceptance criteria, you bring it here to done and this will be completed. So that's how you manage your project in Jira. And you can have an insight about what is going on, the metrics. You can see what is going on within here. You can see 34% done on this project. And you can see burn down charts. This producing will help you to track the project and epic in progress. This is it. So here you can have a, a good report about your project. So this is how Jira work. But we are not going to create any work in Jira now because in this particular project, we are not going to do that because he's not the project manager that creates work here. Is the business analyst that creates work here in Jira. And for that, we are leaving this for business analysis, where the business analyst will come and create a project here, both the school masters and everybody then work and collaborate here. So, but this is just to show you how this particular software looks like. We'll come to we'll do some work here, but not in this particular model. Then this brings us to the next one called the Trello. Trello is a collaboration tool that organizes your work, your projects into, into Kanban board. In one class, Trello tells you what being 
what's being worked on, who is working on what, and uh, where something is in progress. <clears throat> Trello is just popular for showcasing projects in Kanban board. That was the popularity of Trello is is more it gives visual expression of what is going on you know that is just the popularity this board shows to do in progress pending done so it's um it's not a uh, it's good, but it doesn't have so much functionality like other project management tools. But it's just good for showcasing things in board. That's just uh, the popularity of Trello. Well, if you like, you can um, go and um, just type Trello.com and Trello will come up and you see how Trello looks like. You are not going to use Trello because it's popular, but companies don't use it like that. I don't think anybody will ask if you use Trello in your interview. Yeah. <clears throat> so that is all we have for project management tools that you are going to do. All these things are software. And uh, they are not big deal. So you can use it. I don't see any big deal in that. So you can go and start playing around with some of them. So let's go back to um, Project Labor because. Um, as a project manager, I think is more important than Trello and the rest of like, we don't need to be wasting so much time on Trello. Instead of that, we'll go back to project labor and look at it again. Let's do some more work here. At least download it, set it up, and you see how we look. Because all of you need to download this going to be an assignment. You need to download it and install it in your computer and start using it. So. So if you type project labor, this is what we are going to see. You can, can just type projectlabor.com or just type project labor. It's going to bring this place and there. Uh, can go in here. So this is project labor's um, official website. So we are talking about 5.5 uh, million downloads, but you can see today, the download is um, already 6 million. So. so let's download Project Labor and see how it how it looks like so when you see once you click there it's going to bring you to this south forge website where you're going to make the download so if you click and it brings you here don't panic it's normal so, Uh, 
and so it's prompting a download. Yeah, as you can see here, it's downloading on my system. So you can see the installer here downloading. Once the installer is done, I will set it up. So we are waiting for the installer. It's taking some time. Okay, what we are going to do is while we are waiting for the installer to finish downloading, we'll go back and do something else and uh, come back later. So now let's look at um, project management soft skills, the essential soft skills in project management. Number one is influential skills. These are ability to bring people around to a way of thinking about a certain topic without force or coercion whilst acknowledging their opinion. So you must be very influential as a project manager. You must know how to bring people out around the way to convince them, influence them, to do things the way you want it without using force. The second one is a uh, good communication. This involves listening, speaking, and observing, and uh, empathizing. You must be a good listener. You must know how to speak. And communication means uh both body language is not just speaking good english it's about passing information making sure that the person you are talking to is understanding what you are saying it's not about speaking uh queen's english if you are speaking queen's english and the person you are talking to is not understanding what you are saying you are not communicating another skill is effective team leader this ability to provide guidance instruction direction and leadership to the team for the purpose of achieving the goal 
we must be able to provide this guidance, instruction without using force or coercion. Negotiation skills, ability to convince others to look at things differently and change their mind about something. This is a negotiation, in, in trying to convince woo people, buy people into your way of uh, thinking. Conflict management. <clears throat> As a project manager, you must have an ability to see a situation from someone else's point of view and understand their need, motivation, and uh, misunderstanding. When you're trying to manage a conflict, you should be able to, to see things from different people's point of view and um, harmonize the difference and make um, make a judgment without being uh, biased. And uh, a good way to, to, to manage conflict is try to get down to the root cause, root cause of whatever is the problem. Don't solve a conflict, don't resolve a conflict from the surface. Go down and find the root cause. People skills, the ability to predict behavior, relate to others, and socialize easily. This is a PR. Most of you have a good PR, public relationship. Yeah. Then time management, ability to plan, make decisions, prioritize tasks, and set boundaries. You must have this ability to manage things, manage your time, set priorities, set boundaries. Decision maker, ability to use information to weigh up possible risk and opportunities of the decision you make and stick to it. As a decision maker, you don't, you don't wumble. When you say something, you can be the, a good decision maker. They can be pushing you around. You don't talk anyhow. You try to listen very well. You try to make analysis, thorough analysis before you take decision. But when you take decision as a leader, you stick to your decision because you took time. Not so you can't just be pushed around. When they keep pushing you around, you are not a good leader. Your decision won't be there. People will not be taking um, your decision seriously. Lead by example, ability to guide others through your behavior instead of your word. If you are a project manager, you must, some of the tasks you are doing in the project, you must be able to submit it on time before you can tell others that um, you are not submitting their this thing. You have to be coming to work on time before you can tell others that they are late. If you are the one facilitating meeting, you must be there at least five minutes before the meeting starts. You, uh, you can't be coming late to your own meeting and you are telling others they are late. Self-motivation, ability to drive oneself to take initiative and action to pursue a goal and complete task. You must be self-motivated, do things without being directed, take action without being uh, prompted. Emotional intelligence, ability to understand and manage your emotion and the uh, people around you. These are the soft skills you need to be a good project manager. Okay, let's go back to project labor.
So we are back now. If you look at here, you can see that uh, it's fully downloaded. So let me double click it to install it in my system so we can open it. Yeah, I'll say wrong. You want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes in your device. We know the publisher. And then here you click install. And is now installing. And that is it. It's very simple. So you you receive this kind of um, You just uh, write here close. So don't, um, it's just a tip that is giving you, it's not uh, something important, just close. So now it's going to ask you to open a project. If you have any projects, you'll be running on project labor, you can just open it from here. But if you don't have a project, the software is installed. This is how it looks. If you don't have any um, pro project there and want to create, you create a new project. So you write the project name, say demo project. And the manager is Charles. And start date is today. And that is it. You create, you click OK. And project labor, you've created a project here. So, Miriam, you are raising your hand. Um, yes, please. I, I was just wondering if it's just me. But I can only see um, the home page of um, SoftForge. Nothing has changed on my screen, and I believe I have good internet. So I don't know if it's just me, if every other person can see what you're showing us, because I can't see anything else. Okay. So I can't see anything else. Are you sure if people should have speak up? If you don't yeah, see, I can't see anything, then why not speak up? And everybody's keeping quiet. I'm not a, a magic. I'm not a magician to know that you guys are not seeing my screen. Thank you, Thank you Miriam, for that. Once you, you can't just keep quiet. You're not seeing anything. You, you don't talk. You, you just uh... anyway. This is how project labor looks like when you install a project labor. It's very easy to install. So when you, well, you people know how to install when we downloaded project labor. Hello. Yes, we did. Yes, it's just that yes, it wasn't yes, opening. We, this was not opening. We but saw the, it. Download, the, the download shouldn't be a problem. It's just the speech. Okay. Okay. So this is the project labor. You can you download it. You, this is how it's going to look like. And you start adding your, your project activities. Say initiate uh, 
Define the um, and um, closure. So you can see that this project is now taking shape gradually. You know, it's, it's, the duration is here already. And um, this is started and you can see this small gun chart is beginning to show up. So, Can drag it here to create more space. You see, as we are dragging it, more distance are coming out. You see the resources. So this is a project. This is how it look. These are a lot of things you can do under this. Trying to create a space so that I can, um, because this one is going to be um, a stay, a, a, a kind of category, and we then have a subcategory, kind of breaking it down. It's going to be a stage and then under this stage you have um, activities we are going to be performing we are breaking this uh, project under this uh, initiate that is a full project life cycle let's see kick Kick of kick off meeting. So kick off meeting, then you can um, indent this kick off meeting. And when you indent, you see that it's now becoming a, a subcategory. So, and if I want to bring it back, I will outdent it. So, what I want it to be under, I want to, this uh, kickoff meeting to be under initiate stage. So I will do the indentation. So I will indent, I will um, right click and uh, indent. I can equally do that by I think um, from here on that task, I will do indent. So you can do the indent from on that task and click it there, or you right click, you highlight and right click and indent. So, kick off meeting. Um, let's say conduct conduct. 
con talk crazy. Our intensity again. Hmm. I'll dent it so and um you can add any other that's how you do it you can start adding more more tasks and under this um define. You add more. And then you can put activity here and um, indent this one as well. So which activity are we going to put here? Let's see. Wire frame. indent so that is how you you create the you break the project down under here and then start adding sub categories smaller smaller um, deliverables under this and then here duration here under here you can see the start date and uh, let's say this is uh, today is 28 maybe we say it from today and uh, let's say finish date let's finish date is uh, going to be saturday And then you see the gap gun chart is now beginning to expand. And under this one, you can see at the start date of this one is, um, let's say today, July, let's say August. See, start date is um, August 1st, and um, our finish date is um, August, let's say, third, and um, that is it, and that's how you see. This one you have added to to this here, and you see it's not showing the gun chart. So now from here or from here is the resources. You can put resources under this column. So and um, here is a um, predecessors that is what you do here is um what they call it uh, dependencies which one comes first so if this one comes before this you put it here and that's how you keep managing it and yeah so 
But for now, what we are going to do is just for you to create this and do small job here. Just create, download this and create simple breakdown structure. You add the the heading here, like uh, when you break it down, whichever comes and then it puts uh, activities under the main stage and then break it down and just continue like this. And that is what you need to do for now. So when you uh, have done that, you're going to take it uh, one at a time. So when we are done with knowing how to do all these things in depth, because I know some people will say struggle with all this small, small, then we can then increase whatever things we need to do. Because all this stuff here can be used. Signing resources, uh, baselining, and the rest of them, but do the first one first. So this is um, project labor. It looks very simple, but the truth is that anything Microsoft project can do, this simple software can do it. That is it. So do you have any question with this? Okay. If you don't have any question, I will take you to this um this um small video we are going to watch this video in youtube from this woman it's going to equally it's just it's not a long video it's very short video just 10 minutes video but this woman took time in a very dear short video to teach how to use this uh, project labor. So I want you to go and watch the video as well. So once you type um, project labor on YouTube, you see it here. The woman's name is um, Helen Bradley. That's her name. And this is her video in YouTube. You can watch it here. Thank you. So, 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 just, um, so, so, you've seen it and, um, you go back and watch it. We're not going to watch it here. It's something you go and watch at your, at your own convenience. It's very short. So if you have any question, you can bring up your question. 
So I will see her. I would have said, let's finish up, but please, what we have remaining is not much. We can um, we can finish what we have. I, I can finish it today, but we can just do it tomorrow. It's not much. So. Or do you want me to finish what we have left today or tomorrow? Hello. Hi. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> I think tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow will be preferable. Okay. Tomorrow. Okay, I see you people want to sleep. <laughs> it's better to go and practice this one too. Okay. Okay, very good. Then, if you don't, if you don't have any question. Um, sorry, um, sorry, quick one. Um, this um, application, does it just work on computers? Or can it work on mobile devices? I don't know. I think computer. Don't use your mobile. Okay. You can use it if you have an iPad. But okay. if, you're talking, if you are talking about phone, I yes. can, I can guarantee you that. Don't okay. Think, okay. Don't don't use your phone to do something like or you're not going to get a good result. I don't know. It might not. I don't think so. I don't think you open your phone. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I wish you a good night's rest. Thank you.